The first person shooter genre has played an important role in the gaming industry for decades now. Some of gaming's most iconic franchises have been first person shooters such as Halo, Doom, and Call of Duty. As is often the case with popular genres, the FPS genre is constantly being flooded with new entries. Unsurprisingly, many of these games fail to impress or simply want to cash in on the genre's success. However, every once in a while, a game comes along that reminds players just how great a first person shooter can be when done right. Hello and welcome back to Game Rant. I'm Casey, and today we're going to be talking about 14 of the best first person shooter games of all time. Starting our list off, we've got Borderlands 2. When the original Borderlands was announced, it instantly turned heads with its cartoon-like graphics that are bursting with color along with its characters and world design that ooze charisma. Borderlands 2 is set five years after its predecessor and introduces the now iconic video game antagonist, Handsome Jack. Borderlands 2 had greatly improved upon the already impressive original Borderlands. The game was praised by critics, exemplified by its 91 Metascore and Action Game of the Year award at the 16th annual DICE Awards. At number 13, we've got Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2 was developed by Valve and released on PC and Xbox 360 in November 2009. Like its predecessor, the game was an instant hit for its fantastic cooperative play, which would let you and your friends take on hordes of zombies. The range of zombie types is one of Left 4 Dead 2's best gameplay features, as there are many different strengths, weaknesses, and attack patterns force players to think on their feet, as learning and utilizing the best strategies to defeat them was essential to staying alive. At number 12, we've got Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 was released in November 2012 on PC, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One, and offered a stunning open world for players to explore set on a sunny tropical island. The game is best remembered today for the charismatic Voss, who has quickly become one of gaming's most beloved villains. Voss's unpredictability, quotable lines, and explosive anger have helped him live long in players' memories, which is a testament to the performance of his voice actor, Michael Mondo, whose stock recently rose for his excellent portrayal of Nacho in Better Call Saul. At number 11, we've got Titanfall 2. When Titanfall 2 was announced, few people would have predicted that the game would one day be regarded as one of the best first-person shooters of all time. EA's Titanfall 2 was released on October 28, 2016, just over two years after its predecessor and only one week after another EA first-person shooter, Battlefield 1. Although EA's Andrew Wilson claimed that the close releases wouldn't harm Titanfall 2 as the games have different playstyles, the actuality was that Titanfall 2 was a commercial flop. However, the game slowly but surely rose in prominence as its ever-expanding player base raved about the immensely enjoyable multiplayer and campaign modes. Titanfall 2 may never get the commercial success that it deserves, but it is certainly appreciated by fans, me included. At number 10, we've got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Since Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege was first released, it has come a long way in terms of level design and gameplay. Be warned though, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is not ideal for casual players. To get the most out of this game, a significant time commitment is needed to learn the game's advanced gadgets and tactics. Today, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is considered to be the best Rainbow Six game of all time, which is an impressive honor given how many critically acclaimed games have been released in this long-running franchise. At number 9, we've got 1993's Doom. It's no exaggeration to say that every game on this list owes a debt of gratitude to 1993's Doom. Id Software's Doom wasn't the first ever first-person shooter game, but it's still considered to be the genre's most prominent pioneer, with its many innovations like verticality, ambient lighting, and the game's deathmatch mode, which has become a staple of the genre. Although Doom 1993 may not look like much today, it is still genuinely enjoyable to play, which is a testament to how well-designed the gameplay was. At number 8, we've got Halo 2. Bungie had a really tough task on their hands with developing Halo 2, as they had to follow up the groundbreaking Halo Combat Evolve, which was a huge influence on the FPS genre and is today recognized as one of the most important launch titles of all time for how it immediately showed that Microsoft's Xbox was a force to be reckoned with in the gaming industry. Bungie smartly didn't try to reinvent the wheel with Halo 2, opting instead to simply try and improve on its key features with sprinkling some new ideas on top. The result was a game that offered both one of the best single-player campaigns and multiplayer modes in FPS history. At number 7, we've got Apex Legends. Respawn Entertainment's Apex Apex Legends is a mega hit with fans of the first-person shooter genre. There are many similarities between Apex Legends and Epic Games Fortnite, despite the latter being played in third person as opposed to first person. With some people preferring Fortnite and others Apex Legends, there's no telling how long the debate will go on. Its intricate gameplay mechanics involve class skills such as rope gliding and dimensional rifts. At number 6, we've got Battlefield Bad Company 2. 
Many people fondly remember Battlefield Bad Company 2 as the best Battlefield game to be released thus far. The Bad Company series added environmental destruction that was incredibly impressive at the time. Being able to destroy walls to reveal enemies hiding in houses improved the Battlefield series tenfold and made it stand out from its competitors. Each multiplayer map had a ton of detail, encouraging players to return for one last battle. It also helps that the game just looks really good and polished. Even by today's standards, Battlefield Bad Company 2 is an exceptional title. At number 5, we've got GoldenEye 007. Some would say the stigma behind movie-based video games is gone, but there has yet to be a movie-based video game as thrilling as GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64. GoldenEye 007 took first-person shooters to a whole new level by introducing a wide array of weapons and a campaign that stayed true to the original film. Combined with its split-screen multiplayer, GoldenEye 007 is regarded by many as the best first-person shooter of all time. Getting the golden gun in multiplayer for one-shot eliminations is too sweet, as is the satisfaction of winding up friends by picking odd job. At number 4, we've got Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. The Call of Duty series has undoubtedly become one of the most divisive in all gaming, but even the most staunch critic will have a hard time arguing that the series has had some fantastic releases over the years. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is considered by many fans to be the series' high point. As the name suggests, the game reinvented the series by swapping its tried and tested World War II setting for the modern day. The change was warmly received, and the stellar campaign along with its highly influential multiplayer mode secured the game's place as one of the genre's most iconic releases. At number 3, we've got Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 is a beloved first-person shooter for its innovative gameplay mechanics and incredible storytelling. Valve is one of the biggest names when it comes to first-person shooters, and they sure didn't fail to deliver when it came to Half-Life 2. When Half-Life 2 first released, the game was way ahead of its time in gameplay and graphics. Impressively, the game still feels fresh and unique to play today, despite how much the visuals have aged. At number 2, we've got Bioshock Remastered. Bioshock Remastered may not have the most fun first-person shooter elements in a Bioshock game, but it is the best overall package. The story's twists and turns are enough to keep players engaged and frightened, thanks in no small part to the now-iconic character Andrew Ryan. Many would agree that Bioshock 2 and Infinite have superior first-person shooting gameplay, but the original game's rapture setting, big daddies, little sisters, and gripping story make it the series' best. And taking the top spot of our list is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. CSGO is another game on this list that was developed by Valve. This first-person shooter was first released over a decade ago in 2012, yet it's still consistently one of the most played games on Steam, which is truly a testament to how well the intricate gameplay mechanics were designed. The game sees one team facing off against the other to complete an objective, usually on one of the most legendary video game maps of all time, Dust 2. And there we have it, 14 of the best first-person shooters of all time. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of our list and what your favorite first-person shooters are. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and as always be sure to visit gamerant.com for more top-notch gaming content i hope each of you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video take care for now